the real deal, holy field, Chris Bird. In charge, Randy Newman now to give instructions. Okay, gentlemen, you're both familiar with the rules. Obey my commands. Most importantly, defend yourselves at all times. I'll shake hands and come out Cheers. of the ring. Cheers. Randy Newman prepares to summon the fighters to the center of the ring, and here they come. The southpaw stance. Holyfield has had three previous fights against. Don't just be counted on to run and get out of the way and duck. That's what he's some reason. Meanwhile, Bird starts out moving in exactly the opposite direction, rotating from. A straight left hand. Holyfield lands a left hook on Evander. Go to his body and just try to keep my hands on him. But he's going upstairs and missing. Well, that's not so. The referee is going to right jab that Bird is throwing. Back well, it's a But he's throwing more hard punches. I break your time. He a left hook to the body. Totally agree. The counter puncher come to him. Hard right hand by Holyfield. Bird to the ropes. Bird ducks another punch as the round comes to a close. Holyfield lands a right at, toward the end of the round. You wonder if that will influence the score in the corner with him between rounds. Against Bird. He's trying to make him come forward. Yeah, that's make interesting. Get shot. Here comes Holyfield lashing out first, and, and then they hit you with something. That's what you got to do is make them throw something, so then start to do it. Let me duck first. A good straight left by Bird that time. If you Holyfield, you don't want him to get that kind of courage. To just... Holyfield short with the winging right. Bird still just. And Holyfield needs that close to the ropes to land two shots to Bird. Miss this is not the kind of fight that Evander Holyfield has ever fought before, as long as I can remember. Let the ref say break. Evander, two right hands upstairs, two digging left hooks to the body. Another digging left hook to the body. Now, Evander Holyfield, you got to step back and breathe once you do that. It was interesting on the ropes how Bird held Bird, the box, relax when he wants. Just right, can't do that. Right. There's the first headbutt of the fight. There's a fight, let's go. Back is against the rope. You gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. Just can't wait and, and try to jab with him. Make it a day. Keep him in the center right. He lost that day. He can't get his head in the center right. There's the first clash of heads as Holyfield comes in, aggressive, trying to get into the chest of Bird. And there's that. Straight left body punch. By Basically Bird. speaking, I always say that the most important factor in judging a round is those it's big shots at the end of the round. He did more damage in the round. Bird is real good at spinning, but he's not one of these foul guys. After he spins, he never tries to hit you. That's good about it. He was there at ringside last Saturday night to watch Vladimir Klitschko and Jamil McLean in the basement room. Now Evander's picked up his right hand lead. There it goes. Got to bring that right foot a little closer to your left and start leading with the right hand. Interesting shift in momentum here. Holyfield getting Bird's attention with body punches. Don't let him be the first one. Hard left hand from Bird. Hard right hand from Holyfield. Very hard. For the Very last easy if you take the power off the shot. Stop trying to hit him with a big shot. And Got Holyfield it. gets in four shots. To punctuate the round after Bird. Yeah, don't let him do that to you, the last. He's trying to spin off and hit. Yeah. Well, it's Randy Newman, a former heavyweight himself. Mean intentions, but he's throwing sharp punches like that. He's landed virtually every significant punch in this round. Got him on the corner. Right hand grazed Bird. That one also a glancing blow. The body shots are landing. Now he gets a right hand in upstairs. Left hand it was a solid blow. Right hand on the top of the head. Bird decides to throw back. Holyfield laying in and attacking. Holyfield comes forward with his head and catches Bird on Here, the Here, Holyfield 
has a moment on the ropes trying to bully Bird. How effective is he? It's almost like trying to pick up a wet bar of soap in the shower because he is just so slippery. For the big shot. You gotta just make yourself a little guy like he faced as a middleweight. Sticking the jab, sticking the jab. Straight left hand, he field to the punch. Over and over. Holyfield lands a right upstairs as Bird was sticking in with the left hook. Our left hook. Holyfield's corner told him to be first. Get back and be first. That's the first time he's can miss it. Bird goes straight left hand and shows that the opposite is true. If he comes, Sorry, over, George. If if he comes <laughs> over and punches Foreman, it's probably close there, too. Right, right. step back. We have to swap. He's <laughs> Puerto Rico. Memorable night for 10 years. And then he came back. What a story. Beat the devil out of me. <laughs> chest right, right there on his, on your head right there on his chest. You know, in a way, it's a, it's a heavyweight version of the two fights that King has paired together, this and Jones Ruiz. We'll try that to just turn southpaw. And that's what that's what Bird was saying. He told us that he would hope that he could get Chris Bird. Bird could punch. He could end this fight. Stop trying to win the guy. Knock him out. Win round. It's in there. That's that backhand with that straight backhand again. I mean, yep. slap backhand. That Bird As I said, he's going to get away he with don't that. Don't throw power. Well, and if you go to the body instead of to the head too. I don't think it's easy at all. Do it by well, now. He just does not believe in throwing little shots, man. He lands a right uppercut as Bird gets brave and comes in. Holyfield. Don't wait for him. Punch. Boom. This is uh, Chris Bird's version of a bird in hand. In the bird in hand. Well, if it were a jabbing contest, they'd stop it. In the eighth round, do it against Southpaws. It's particularly hard to do it against this one. Hard right hand by Holyfield. Throws his right, throws his right hand. What have done to you? Holyfield finally gets him. to the body. Bird goes into that peekaboo act. Holyfield is just trying to get in one That's all. No longer trying to win. One death. Crowd starting to warm the bird a little bit. Chris Bird said it would be an easy fight. So far it is. Your box estimate in round nine. Bird threw 52 jabs and landed 14. 70 total punches in the round. He's only been just throwing head shots. It's been a different story. Holyfield trying to sledgehammer the boxing. Stay away from southpaws. Stay away from southpaws who can box. This is something all will shut out. He then becomes a more important potential opponent. For Lewis. Bird just knocking him back with straight punches again. Bird got hurt that time. Holyfield gets Bird cornered, catches him with the right hand. Trying to detonate Chris Bird. Put a little power in there. Combination. I know you're rooting for a vendor, George, but he's a no hooper right now. He's going to have to bleed. He's going to have to catch some shots. But there's a hard right hand by Holyfield. Never over a boxing match. Never over. And he catches Bird with a knock. And once again, Bird is rocked by the impact of these punches as he was at the end of the last round. And he tries to turn around and retaliate. And Evander catches him with another big shot. Chris Bird got caught with huge shots in the underworld. Oh, run like a rabbit this round. You can do it. 
There he is, tired, desperate, not going to leave anything outside the ring. He's going to put it all out right in here. 107, 102, eight rounds to three. Chris Bird. Move it. After the last two rounds, though, Bird finally Prior to that, he might have had some questions. It'd be shocking if Chris Bird could. participate in a 15-round fight early in his career against Dwight Muhammad Kawi. Maybe if he had three more. He didn't end the fight. The good thing about it, these fighters signed with Dunn King and they're always in the title picture. There's no promoter. Who can from throughout the fight, Chris Bird's effective aggression as continually he stepped forward through the jab. Beat Evander Holyfield to the punch, made Holyfield respond to him. Far more frequently did Bird dominate the action at center of the ring. Chris Bird.